Good morning guys, I am heading off for my first ever bike touring, bike packing trip, I'm not quite sure what to call it, and I'm heading off on... So I've cycled about 30 kilometers, I've just gone past, I think Shoreham, I'm in West Sussex now, so it took me about an hour to get to Brighton, and then we went through Brighton, through Southwick and Fishers Gate to Shoreham, so it's nice and quiet here. Mm. I love seeing all the huts. Dear diary, my bum hurts, a lot. I've only got 15 kilometers left, to be honest, I'm so grateful. My ass is on fire. My body's feeling okay, but I'm just ready to get there now. Take everything off, because it's really warm. Finally made it. Finally made it. My butt is quite tender, I won't lie. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to go on the downs now. I'm excited that it's not gonna be just roads. Good morning guys, I am heading off for my first ever bike touring, bike packing trip, I'm not quite sure what to call it, and we're going to be doing around 127 miles for the two days, so that's quite far. First of all we're going to have some coffee, it's about 20 past 6, so I really do want to leave by 7, because yeah, I mean I'm not the fastest cyclist, I'm going to take my time, but I would like to do some cycling while the roads are slightly clear while there aren't too many people around so I'm pretty excited. Okay everything is set up, I've got my bike, I've got um, an extra bag in here and another bottle, I've got my phone here and I think we're ready to go, pretty excited. So I've cycled about 30 kilometers. I've just gone past, I think Shoreham, I'm in West Sussex now. So it took me about an hour to get to Brighton. And then we went through Brighton, through Southwick and Fishers Gate to Shoreham. So it's nice and quiet here. I love seeing all the huts, They're quite fun. Yeah, I'm surprised I've already done 30 kilometers. I still have got about 75 kilometers to go. So I'm just taking a break. I've got a little bit of a knee niggle, but to be honest, the electric bike really helps with that. I have only been using the turbo when I'm going up hills and at start when there are lorries next to me because sometimes it's nice to just go and surprise them but it's nice to just have a lot of time to think this is what I loved about commuting when I commuted to King's Cross every day when I was working up there yeah it's nice to have a lot of time to think I'm actually really looking forward to getting to the campsite I'm also looking forward to my next cup of coffee so I hope we find somewhere to stop I had to stop because there's like a lagoon right here and the beach is like right there. Apparently this is a nature reserve. Isn't that so cool? Made it to Littlehampton, 50 kilometers down, 50 kilometers to go. My phone is definitely in charge, so I've stopped. I'm gonna have some water, I'm gonna have some snacks. Just chill out, the sun's come out. After a while, it's no longer embarrassing to film in public. It really is. Dear diary, my bum hurts a lot. Okay, I haven't filmed very much because I've been on really busy main roads. Well, not main roads, but like busy roads that are going fast. But I've only got 15 kilometers left, to be honest, I'm so grateful. My ass is on fire. My body's feeling okay, but I'm just ready to get there now. Take everything off because it's really warm, but I, I, just, I just need to get there now. And then we'll debrief once we get into the tent and, you know, have some water and stuff. Finally made it. Take a look at where I'm sleeping tonight. I think I must look a bit wild. <laughs> 
because I am so drained. I'm the kind of person that when something hurts, I don't want to stop. I just want to get it done. But that is a mistake. So for the last 50 kilometers, I basically was like, it's fine. When we get to 30 kilometers, I'll take a nice break. But then we got to 30 kilometers and I was like, things are getting harder. Things are more painful. I don't know. I just don't know how well this is going to go. So I just kept, just kept going. Just had tunnel vision. And then I got here and I couldn't find this place for like 45 minutes. But that's fine. We found it. We're here. That was draining. I did not realize, but I just, I don't know, there's something about, there's something about cycling and getting somewhere by your own self, you know, like cycling. I just feel like it's magical. Like you get there and you're like, how did I even get there? And to be fair, yes, some of it is magical because it was part of an electric bike. But, and honestly, there were some times towards the end where I just thought, I can't do this. I cannot do this. Have you ever been that exhausted that when the slightest thing goes wrong or you can't find something immediately, you just want to cry? <laughs> That's what happens to me when I get really exhausted when I'm doing some kind of physical activity. I think it's time to make some proper food because I've just been snacking all day and I also need to just go and like wash and get changed and something more comfortable because it got really hot and this is disgusting. My feet are on the dashboard My eyes on the road I always knew I'd get here I just thought I'd be alone Trees tie the skyline I also remembered like everything that I needed except for a spoon I'm just waiting for my food to cook I put too much water in so sure of anything the way you're sleeping on my shoulder at least it tastes good dancing in a dream it feels like getting Tomorrow is a shorter day. Today was already pushing it quite a lot. Um, yeah, so today, tomorrow is a shorter day and I'm just quite excited because this is just my first ever bikepacking trip. Obviously it's different because I'm doing it on an e-bike but also it's just really interesting to see the differences between how I would feel. I mean, I, I could not have made it today, I don't think. When I got to about 70 kilometers, I, th I thought I was done. <laughs> so yeah, tomorrow's gonna be a much shorter day. It's gonna be maybe about 35 kilometers and then, but over the South Downs. So it's gonna be hopefully much more of an interesting kind of visuals for you. I found that the route today was actually kind of boring and a lot of it was, a lot of it was on cycle pathways, but that were adjacent to like a B road or an A road and they just weren't that fun. Like when we got into Hampshire, that's when it started to get pretty beautiful and I could go on these really lovely country roads. Weren't many cars, they were fast roads, but because there weren't many cars, it really didn't matter and they really slowed down or they gave you a really wide bus. So that wasn't worrying at all for me. Hopefully the route tomorrow, even though it'll be shorter, will be much nicer, I think. I don't think I could be more grateful for a bed. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna read my book, go to bed, well, when the light goes, and then I'll see you in the morning. Good night.
While my breakfast was cooking, I started to pack away everything ready for the day. As you can see, I had a backpack and that's simply because I didn't want to buy anything new until I'd done my first bike trip and actually decided whether I liked it or not because it's so easy to start new hobbies and buy new things that we think that we need and I just, I had a perfectly good backpack, I had a perfectly good frame bag and to be honest, bike packing when you don't have to take your tent, you can take such few things and it really was really easy. Now that I've done it though, I bloody love it. So I'm 100% going to be investing in some local brands or some secondhand items to just make it a little easier and to hopefully go bike touring and bring everything I need with me. Anyway, we're going to have breakfast and then we're going to start on the South Downs. My butt is quite tender, I won't lie, but it's eight o'clock. The cafe's not open yet, so I'm just gonna go keep going and see if we can find a cup of coffee on the route and take a break then. Already this is way nicer than yesterday. <laughs> uh, it's nice to be off the road. It's nice to be in the middle of the woods. Today is gonna be such a fun day. I can already tell. This is gonna be the best day ever. This is gonna be the best day Wake up, top of the morning, the bacon is crispy, the coffee is pouring, my meditation is peeling an orange. Two deer just ran across me in the middle of the road. The bank says I'm already scoring. I got a parking spot right outside, step into my brand new ride, all we ever get is green lights and blue skies. This is gonna be the best day ever, you got me looking so fresh, I can't get I got a red fruit smoothie. James Brown bumping like I'm living in a movie. Look at me. I do the cha cha cha. Look at me. I sing na na na. Well, that's a lot harder than road biking, I tell you that for sure. Snack time is my favourite time. I find it hard to eat properly when I'm on any kind of exercise thing, so bars and Oreos are like the best thing. I wish I hadn't eaten all my Oreos yesterday, but if I find a shop, I'll get some. Okay, I'm reaching the end of what I'm capable of, so we are taking a two to lot kilometre detour. From here, I headed off out of the South Downs way and onto the roads again. And whatever I said about roads earlier, I completely take it back because I was so grateful to have a smooth service to cycle on after the South Downs, even though the South Downs, of course, is very beautiful. But I hopped on the train and went to Brighton. And when I got to Brighton, I had a vegan sandwich and a vegan brownie. I was so grateful for the vegan options there, waiting for another local train, which took me back closer to home. But we still had another five kilometer cycle back. I just got home. Oof, that last five kilometers just back was tiring. I am about to have the best shower of my life. These clothes are sweaty. But I, will, I won't lie, they did me well. If there's anything that I would suggest about uh, cycling, if you're thinking about buying something, padded shorts are the only thing I feel like you genuinely need. Just saying. Okay, it's been a few days since I got back from my bikepacking trip. I was very tired, so I wanted to wait and think over for a few days anything I wanted to say at the end of this video and kind of reflect on the things that I learned, the things that I found wonderful and exciting, anything that I found being nervous. Yes, it was challenging, but that's because I was on the South Downs way. I feel like hiking up hills with your bike is just part and parcel of bikepacking or bike touring. So I cycled 100 kilometers on the first day and about 30 kilometers on the second. Did I plan it well? No, I didn't. Was it the most comfortable ride because of how I had a backpack? 
of course it wasn't. But was it incredibly fun, a wonderful experience, wonderful learning experience and adventure? It absolutely was and I would 100% do it again. I was really grateful that I had a bag that goes on your frame. It's just a small one, but it kept all my food. It also had my battery pack, like the, my additional charger for my phone. And I put my GoPro in there. It actually surprisingly had a lot of space. I cycled a lot down the South Coast route, which was on the coast. And I stopped by so many towns, so many coffee shops. There's even a specific coffee bus called the Velo Coffee Bus. That's I think around Shoreham. I stopped there and had a coffee and I met two other solo cyclists who were just going out for the day or training for things and I had a really nice conversation with them which was really just really nice. I wasn't afraid at all. I'm very used to cycling on my own. The thing that I was worried about was going to be camping but the sustainability centre in East Mion which is where I stayed was amazing. It was really set up for, you know, providing workshops and classes. It had a vegan and vegetarian uh, cafe. Camping in the UK is very different to places like the US. You really do not feel like you're wild camping or you're in the middle of nowhere when you are at a campsite. Of course, there are some places you can, but not really in Sussex. There were other people around, so that made me feel more comfortable. And also because my tent is four kilos and I didn't have the right equipment to carry it with me and I was not gonna put that in my backpack, I decided to book a pre-erected yurt instead. So that was really comfortable. It was re it honestly was actually one of the best night's sleep I've had in a really long time. All in all, I loved it. I wanted to go for two nights, but because of the weather, I had torrential rain most days before so I had to cut it short to only one night but I am a hundred percent gonna do another bike packing trip soon absolutely maybe even in the autumn because it will be just beautiful the leaves will be changing and yeah I'm pretty excited to try that out I would absolutely love to go bike touring where you do bring your tent and everything with you but I would like to do that maybe when my boyfriend is here so that we can do it sort of together and we can share some of the equipment but I am I'm excited I'm excited to do more solo traveling uh, in the UK and do more solo bike packing it really is an experience that empowers you and makes you feel like you really are capable because you're completely in charge of everything. If something goes wrong, of your itinerary, making sure you have everything you need and problem solving when you don't. So I was, yeah, I was very proud of myself. I also really believe that these kinds of adventures build grit because especially if you're going for a hundred kilometers or you're pushing your physical boundaries or your mental boundaries, then it really helps to push through those challenges and, you know, build build grit and, and push and keep going and not give up. So that's why I love these kind of challenges. That's why I did my 75 kilometers walk in a day. Still cannot believe that I did that. And that's why I push myself physically with this one as well. So if you have any questions, as I said, about anything, please let me know. But other than that, Thank you so much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe so that you never miss another video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon.